Welcome to the Crucial Classics Bring Your Own Copy series, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to watch all of the biggest titles from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. to crucial classics and if this is your first time here welcome let's start we look at the wall of my living room it's decorated like this because old movies are important for the past 31 years i don't think that i showed you the very top of the wall there but anyway um i hope you guys had a great week i hope you guys are in a space right now where you are doing self-care and you're carving out some time um in your free time to indulge in what we already have as our common joy watching good old movies so this particular weekend guys i hope that i'm wrapping it up to be able to be back to full time doing this gig um because i'm burnt out by the fn weekend 40 hours is a lot it's team too much um to just i really am i'm getting like this i'm getting feeling very confined very wasting my time. I have had more than a year of my time being my own and for a long time choosing to focus wholeheartedly on this channel. So it gets me to these spaces of hours carved out in just a couple of days that I get back to back. Thank goodness I get them back to back. I've had them not back to back. I've had them not on Saturday and Sunday too throughout the course of life. But anyway, um, Ah, that being the case, I just am going big because I'm happy to be at home right now. I wish that I could be at home all the time again right now. So, yeah, no, we have no time for anything other than what provides the most satisfaction and joy. So, we're doing North by Northwest right now. So, this is the fourth movie that Cary Grant makes out of four with Alfred Hitchcock, the final movie. Um, it went suspicion, notorious to catch a thief in this one. Um, it... Google, you know, it was some of the best work for both um, creators, and what a way to go out. Um, I will say, this movie, kind of along with an affair to remember of Carrie's catalog, is a little bit too touted and blown up, and everybody knows about it, right? So that, I, it's just my personal, I, that right there, that exact type of dynamic about a thing right there will be the reason why I push back, and don't just go for it because everybody else goes for it okay so and then what's odd about this movie is that I don't watch it often enough kind of because of oh you know everybody knows about um, North by Northwest if you know anything about Cary Grant right and it's like but I'm a true Cary Grant you know aficionado my house is decorated with him I have all 72 of his movies you know this is not the only movie that you need to know about of Cary Grant if you're doing a study of Cary Grant I think is maybe more my just cover on that personality sometimes okay so um let me look it up in the book because right off of the bat i don't what's the year that this is made you know what i should do too is um at a point take this video camera go into the room where i have my 36 by 24 i yeah i think it's 24 by 36 poster that i got as a young teenager for christmas one year that they would hit me at christmas time with my cary grant posters i have him perched on the rock um, from this movie. So that's in a room. I see it every day. Um, I see Carrie every day. So <laughs> yeah, let's see what Malton says about it. Four stars. I, it's got to be flawless, right? And let's get started. Okay, I'm on screen, but I cannot see you and I'm not trying to look. North by Northwest 1959. Okay. Wow, this is, you know, Carrie's heading out of his career. You know he's got to be thinking about what's next. So we have Eva Marie Saint, highly overrated in my opinion, especially in this movie. I'm sorry, I guess I'm reading right now. I cannot stand James Mason either. He gives me the total creeps from that movie Lolita. Um, and then just Martin Landau, whatever. You know, Jesse Royce plays his mother in this movie. She's like three years older than him, maybe, if not the same age or younger. Um, quintessential Hitchcock comedy thriller with bewildered Adman. Yeah, we, we know it's up. One memorable scene after another, okay, including now legendary crop dusting and Mount Rushmore sequences. One of the all-time great entertainments. Uh, witty script by Ernest Lehman. An exciting score by Bernard Herrmann. All right. 
whatever. <laughs> you know, he was going about line by line telling what happens with this movie. Um, you definitely, if you have never seen this movie, this is not one that you want to have spoiled for you. You're just going to watch it. It takes off right away. It's a great, easy-to-follow movie, right? Um, Hitchcock movies tend to be easier enough to follow. Actually, as I'm saying that, for some reason, like, Foreign Correspondent came to my mind that wasn't, like, so easy to follow. Maybe Saboteurs and so... Anyway, let me just give you a little housekeeping stuff. Um, what we do, you are bringing your copy of this movie. We're about to do a playing in 3, 2, 1, click, both pushing play at the same time. Best way for you to watch the movie with me, my suggestion is on one screen. Easiest ways I can think of to do that is two tabs. You pull the movie into a tab, you pull me into another, you lock them side by side. You take an HDMI cable from your device and plug that into your bigger screen TV so that then you're watching that on your biggest screen pleasing TV. Put us both in theater mode. That just helps to create nice black space around that. If you are able to do casting and you have connectivity or by your router, you have good signal strength, play on TV. Picture in picture, shrinks me down, I become floatable, you put me in a corner of the movie, this one you gotta watch full screen. And yeah, that's how you do this thing with me. Um, check out the description of the video all the time. You'll want to do that. I told you, I'm watching the crucial of the crucial classics. So here's how that works. Again, you have to have your copy of the movie, but the mission and the goal and the purpose of this channel is I'm not leaving you guys behind. Any video that I'm uploading onto this channel of a movie that I'm watching is because if I can find it, you guys can find it. You have total, complete access to locating these films. I do that legwork for you. The only place where I share information about that with you is on my sister Pinterest page. I always have a link in the description of each video that has a link to a Pinterest board. Consider the Pinterest board a this wall of my living room, and I fill it up with pictures only from North by Northwest, in this case, not all various Cary Grant pictures. And in that board is where you can find information about where I have sourced the copy of the movie that I'm about to be watching, but this is a crucial, 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 this, you you guys, got, you gotta work with me here, you gotta be able to have a copy of this movie, okay? So, <laughs> what we'll just share to make sure we're on the same page is runtime. Um, for a few seconds, I will have it very muted and blurred on the screen so you can see, does yours have extra logos or something? Pause, play, pause, play, get us in sync. I will have a movie runtime timer. This is really the most helpful thing. Anything gets out of sync. Just get your copy of the movie to the hour, minute, and second that this will say. There are links in the description for products that I highly recommend. I've shown you guys multiple times my little Arctic air chill. I want to say this great thing about it busted on me, but I've had it going every day just about for um, 90 days, not quite. I'm about a week shy of my 90 day warranty. Called the customer service number, somebody answered, they spoke English and I'm just saying that, yes I said that, and um, I was not aware. It had a 90 day warranty, I am getting a complete replacement, it's on its way, I have my tracking number for that, and they told me that my replacement has a 90 day warranty. I totally vouch for that thing. I have turned on my central air conditioning two times this summer. My electricity bill did not skyrocket. That's one thing I was able to help keep in check in this house as far as the cost of living is concerned, right? <laughs> one thing you can control, oh my goodness, you know? It would have been a major fluctuation if I had not had that under control. Um, I have a link to a device that helps you pull your films off of your video cassette tapes and get them onto um, digital format and then also just check out we have 10 movies on this channel at least that I did as watch alongs because I was sourcing them at the time from Amazon Prime it's a rich ongoing um, source of our crucial classic content and yo, know, those are the links check out our member site growing it come on now you guys know Look, look at what we watch. But guess what? My member site is because I am holding some movies that I'm only going to watch with you guys over there. I know y'all want to watch Gone with the Wind with me. It's over there. Come on now. Come on. Do you guys want to watch what they say is the best movie of all time, Citizen Kane? Let's watch it together. I watched it. I'm trying to share with you guys just like an extra special taste of me. I've got out of the past over there, my favorite Robert Mitchum movie, a lot more harder to find. It's not one that they play oversaturating us with it. Um, also, not oversaturated, do you want to see a really good acting performance of Audrey Hepburn where you don't kind of just have to be shoved down your throat that she's like the best little muse of all time walking down the stairway? You know, let's see her act. Let's watch Nun's Story. Um, ooh, do you want to have the definition of Betty Davis' eyes? All about Eve. Okay, um, 
Postman always rings twice, people. The best of the best, the highest ranked of the AFI 100s are going over there. You like what you see right here, and a lot of the content that you see right here, guys. Um, we started out with kind of this unique little mission of we were only watching stuff that was available for free here on YouTube. Guess what those tend to be? Things that are available in the public domain, okay? Um, not to say they're not good movies, you know, we're, we love old movies. We are not snobs about it. Um, I have given you guys, uh, Lady in Cement with Frank Sinatra, okay? That's like a one and a half star movie, probably, in Malton's book. But we needed that movie, and that movie was perfectly placed in time for levity, for just getting through this planet <laughs> and all of the craziness that happens around us. So, you know, we love classic films, but I'm just letting you know, you want to up the ante. You only want, like, the top 100 of the AFI, people. I'm reserving those titles for the member site. So, links, packages, everything, one-click link takes you beautifully over into my beautifully designed space. The way that it all looks is my design, people. I've put that whole thing together, the color scheme, the layout, everything. That's all my work. So, if you are even thinking about clicking the link, I know it's because you have a mindset of just wanting to give me monetary support and it is truly a blessing, truly appreciated, and I would encourage you to just keep yourself aware of what we do over there. So, um, that being said, I just lost my connection of the casting crap, so let me get that set up again. Okay, so, playing <laughs> in three, two, one, click. Yes. The music is instantly that like, you recognize. Oh, look how Louis green. MGM, right? Hitchcock goes around the world with making his movies. So, wow, MGM is kind of phasing out, too, by this time. Carry top billing over the title. Okay, a lot of people are over the title. I, I'm telling you guys, I cannot stand James Mason. He gives me the total creeps. I can't think of a film that I like him in. It totally, 100% is that nasty little movie, Lolita. And then who also is in that movie, the guy that's following them? It, then he does the Pink Panther shit. I can't watch him either. That movie is just too creepy. It's like Norman Bates, right? Like, you just can't let it go. I can't let it go. <laughs> Bernard Herrmann. Okay, we saw that. And then that layman guy did the screenplay then, right? Technicolor. Okay. Did I miss our costumes? I do not like this sideways. I can't read that. Easy enough, right? Mmm. Peaches with brown sugar and vanilla. Cinnamon. They did not show who did the costumes. Hitchcock doesn't always show that. Oh, they're... That was barely a cameo for him. Who did the suit? It's a nice color, huh? Of course, Carrie. This is the work I'm doing nowadays, people. I'm just letting. <laughs> I literally had my pad chilling right here and I put it in the other room. I was like, no, I'm not having that in this space when I'm doing this. She didn't eat, you yeah. You overwork her, Roger.
you know that this suit was dyed to match his hair? <laughs> Think, Ben. <laughs> This was a long way for them to have walked. Does he live with his mother? He's, um, Mad Men. couldn't work. I, mm -mm. I couldn't get nothing done for him. <laughs> I love the way he walks. So athletic. Somebody's gonna have this kind of an affect, right? Like, they're gonna do their little... They might not have any speaking. Look, they have to do. <laughs> Does he live with his mother? And that's all it took. Oh, seriously? That little boy wasn't going to walk him all the way to wherever he needed to go? This dude is in some other movie wearing a white jacket like he's a doctor or something is it really oh okay yes you know i mean you don't need to be pushing it to try them but I didn't see so I mean like this fool has his thing just out in the open on carry like that Carrie isn't a punk I'm telling you guys you have to watch his 30s movies before he made it big He said he didn't dye his hair. Like, he just let it change color. <sighs> They've gone a long way. And yeah, how long have you guys been driving? Do you remember? Like, did you make note of all the twists and turns and corners? Because this is out in the country now. This is like when he's with that girl Lorraine Day, right? They're driving to, like, Connecticut from New York. Or Catherine Hepburn stealing him away. To Connecticut. <laughs> the other girl's farm wasn't in Connecticut. She was south, yeah. lady. I forget that she's right here too.
Technicolor, right? We saw in in the heat of the night. I feel like they did deluxe. That color was so pristine. I mean, I feel like that's the best color that we've seen in a film back in this era so far. But this is really not like I'm really liking this. The tones and everything, like all of this wood. And the music. There's the address of where you are, Carrie, but is there, there was no phone? Did they, did he already figure out there's no phone? Ugh. Oh, Carrie, you were about to pitch it back to him? Try and get out the window again? These two right here are the two men that those Calvronas are talking about in Rope. I love James Smith. Yeah, I'm taller than you. Townsend. <laughs> what the devil? <laughs> Games. I love it when people say that too. with this lady one time she's like I play games with my grandkids <laughs> yeah so he's everything It's never been anything else. We do love that about Hitchcock, right? It's just that little, they really did get the wrong man. But they think Kaplan and Summer. Ew. At this point, who are they? Surviving, you know, Carrie, what? Carrie, are you just walking out? Are you just going to walk out right now? I love it. Jason. And he, Mason said to him, tell us what you know about our shit. How do they have all this information about somebody that they think is an agent? City of South Dakota. They give you such nice ones. Again, all of this they. A simple note.
You know, it's like, don't you hurt my Carrie. Insist. See, and I like the way that it takes the two of them to hold him. Look at him. He's just looking at it. I mean, even he does not want to have to take that much, but miraculously, right? I mean... Talk about taking it to the head. You know they didn't let him chase that with anything. Okay, no, he, they. I was like, he's mostly on his feet. No, he's not. <laughs> they are dragging him. Oh no. But think about that. Like how wasted they made him have to get. He's not. He doesn't. I've grown accustomed to her face. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh, I Twist your ankle, sprain it, break it. Because you have to get. Oh, Carrie pushes him out. Carrie, why didn't you jump out too? Get it together! just gonna keep going <laughs> through the curve right <laughs> oh poor baby oh slow down a little bit you aren't able to contemplate the break right <laughs> oh Carrie <laughs> That's pretty cool. <gasps> Slow down a little bit, Carrie. Think about the break. Um, what does happen? No, he doesn't use the break, huh? He does not use the break. <gasps> I haven't seen this in years, people. Oh, 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 that was him. I th I know he... <laughs> okay, thank goodness. Oh, he's Ingrid Bergman all of a sudden. Now he knows how it feels. Does he like turn around to look at them and <gasps> Oh, the first time he used the brake, they crashed into him. These fools were following along. Oh, they were going to bump him if enough didn't happen on its own. <laughs> Poor baby. 
does he like lay down right away? <laughs> <laughs> I do get the comedy, right? <laughs> Giant straight this time. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> I was this wasted one time and I called my mom too. <laughs> Glen Cove. <laughs> he didn't. Maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to make him walk that line. You better stand back. <laughs> <laughs> His poor hangover to him. The mama. Ready to go to trial. <clears throat> He's really, really tan, huh? Like, what was Carrie doing just using the sun? They didn't have, um, I don't need it. People will never relate to what the need is for that. But um, they didn't have like the self tanning stuff back in the day. Did they? <clears throat> the county detectives. Oh, they said that. That's who they are. So what the hell are the county detectives? Oh, you ain't coming up into my house. That's how you said who you are. What the hizzle is that? County detectives, you got a badge? 
but really it's everything about where they're stepping into that needs to be verified and needing to show identification and stuff. <clears throat> oh, well, that's easy enough to, they just put books in it. Oh, now his name is Roger? Mercedes. Somebody's going to say Mercedes. Oh, did he see her last night? Set is both of those two. I've seen in other things. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The United Nations. <clears throat> so, okay. They think that Carrie is Kaplan trying to pose as Roger. But her husband is posing as Townsend, huh? We'll see that. They don't go with him to the United Nations, her. Look at her frumpy posture. Look at her shoulders are all... Which one is it that's clipping this right now? No. Is, what movie is he in? He is a doc, not a doctor, but like an ambulance. He's, he is dressed in like scrubs, the short sleeve. These two are literally just, let's call them the exact same age. And that's supposed to be his mother. key oh she'll take it huh? she gonna take it too <laughs> where is this hotel if she managed to get the key
Yeah, there's so many they's. Uh, like, whoever they are that Kaplan's associated with, and whoever they are that Townsend is. He's, Townsend said to Carrie, we want to know what you know about us. Oh, uh, okay. What's that? He's calling... The valet. But that's weird how... how yeah. <laughs> In that case. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, her. Just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just know his name is Kaplan? Why does the maid know what somebody's name is in the room? Oh, the valet was just on his way anyway. <sighs> just like always. Like you always do. Is that the ten dollar bill that his mom wouldn't take? His mom needs to let it go and believe her son. He seems to fully take care of her. I mean, what is so wrong with him that she's in the courtroom? <laughs> well, he's obviously a much shorter it isn't gonna answer it don't carrie don't answer the phone no what should be the is that is that supposed to, and they're just gonna talk shit to him when he answers the phone they're gonna read him a, <laughs> and you don't read Oh, right? <laughs> Who is this? It was one of those two fools that snatched him up. from the lobby yeah you lost all of this time getting the heck out of Dodge okay mother you know oh, I would not need it it is so sad you know what I mean like he is the only one that really does understand what they really did try and kill him he just was able to handle his liquor better than, you know what I'm saying? Man, he could drink if he was forced to like that, you know what I mean? And he just didn't go over the cliff. Oh, there they are.
What movie is that dude in? As some type of a hospital employee. Is he in that movie um, with Robert Mitchum and Frank Sinatra for just like a split second? He's in something for just a split second. Yeah, ladies first. Yeah, and he's ditching his mom. Yeah, he's got to get this shit figured out, and she is not helping. United Nations. Oh, he didn't think of that right away. Right now, he's just trying to ditch them. The sound on this is not as loud as I want it to be. Yes, I can. That's cool how, like, I wouldn't know to say, take me to the United Nations General Assembly building. I wouldn't know. He must have ever been here. He lives in New York. He knows. He's a businessman. He knows how to send something to the United Nations, right? The architecture is so dated, right? It doesn't still look like this, right? And that's not it either, right? I love this girl. Oh, is it going to say Kaplan? So he thinks he's about to meet Mason. Why, Carrie? <clears throat> Actually. What is he trying to accomplish by trying to force this fool to come... some little stat about if it wasn't her or somebody that like has speaking lines inside of here actually did work for the United Nations or whatever it might have been that little girl is there somebody else that will see too <clears throat> it might have been her So, yeah, he's expecting to see Mason. So they stole that man's house. Oh, he's going to explain it. Oh, he's going to ask him if he knows. <gasps> Why was the picture in that hotel room? With the man, like, photoshopped into, with Mason. Photoshopped in the picture. Carrie, nobody else saw that that man got that in the back. And the shoe didn't do that? This is a cool shot, huh? Intelligence. Central intelligence. Was an alias?
They're calling him Thornhill. Townsend. Van Dam. And what's the guerre? The war. This is the Cold War. Oh, he's just bait. Why? That they have somebody in place for their non-existent? That's messed up. They don't, he don't care? Ah! I'm glad that you said that. Yes. Callous. And go to all the trouble. Two others. All right, well, that's really, really, really messed up. And where's Carrie? Oh, so he did flee. His. Oh, who took the photo that he's all pasted over the newspapers? Okay, who's he talking to? His mother. So he still thinks Kaplan exists. Okay, yeah, he doesn't have any reason to think Kaplan doesn't exist. Oh, that's very nice, Mother. That's very nice. Thank you so much. Does he put his sunglasses on inside of the, um, is this the Grand Central Station? He does her uh, in the nosy man. Wow, they're really looking for him. <sighs> So he's trying to go to Chicago. Right. This dude. No, he needs a sleeping room. Two questions, huh? This picture, um, that dude's in charade, huh? He's the little man from charade. I'm tired. All right, well, he's not still there. Good for you. Good for you, Carrie. He's just gonna go to the gate.
Oh, that was too easy. Mm. With these sunglasses on now, to carry. I mean, he can't even help it, right? Like, where do I? He's not trying to give us this right now, but um. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just, I didn't, I don't know, I haven't seen her in too many other things. Um, I know she's an on the waterfront. He always wanted a blonde, right? Hitchcock. I guess I'm just petty. <laughs> She's no Ingrid Bergman, right? Like, I'm just of his co-stars ever. To me, she's not pretty enough. For it to be like, he gets all caught up in her like this. I, I'm sorry. It's petty. Oh, he's just, poor Carrie in this movie, right? Oh. So he doesn't have a ticket, but he knows how to just be staying on this train. Is Does he have the door cracked a little bit so that he can just perfectly know that they've walked by? <laughs> okay, now you need to take off the sunglasses. You're totally suspect. Oh, but he's all over the papers. <laughs> The sunglasses are ridiculous, though, still going on in the dining car. They always make the food look so good on a train home. Some of them, it really is good home. There's this dude, he has a channel on YouTube. He took a train across Australia and he ate kangaroo on the train. But it was, like, really fancy. So that's a martini with an onion in it instead of an olive. I told you guys I went to bartending college. Oh, it's her. <laughs> These sunglasses. Carrie, are you taking them off? A little trashy. Brook Trout. <clears throat> what would we say reading people somebody sitting down at your table with some sunglasses on on the inside for what yeah are you gonna take them off <laughs> on the newspaper <laughs> it's a nice face yeah it is um mm-hmm Oh, he's taking them. Ooh. Oh, no, he ain't talking about that. Oh, but then again, she might not. You know what I mean? <laughs> See it here, huh? Oh. No, um. Okay, that's quite direct. <laughs> So she really said make. Oh, he has a woo! Yes, Miss Thing. Oh, she gonna get her man. Shoot. <laughs> what? 
in the world is that? Oh, Carrie, you had a line ready to go, huh? Whoops. Uh, he says, whoops. She doesn't like the book. <laughs> oh, she's um a D, a T. <laughs> yeah. What does the O stand for? A bad O name? Orenthal? Oh, Shandon. Okay, I, you know what? I'm gonna give her... That she is his match. She actually is doing a good job. I haven't seen this in a long time. It's easy to remember. Does he get to take a bite? He already did take one bite of his trout, huh? wouldn't I? Oh, okay. Where's my picture? I think I can show you guys really quick. Right? Look, I took that out of my ANC magazine. They had that small picture in, like, the um, credits page of an episode. An episode and a um, issue. My thing came unplugged. Come on. <clears throat> he wants to be packed. Be quiet, Carrie. Obviously she got you up there for a reason. Hollering. You know what? I think it would be cool to travel a long way like that in a room I like the color of the sky I wonder if that's a natural scene or if they made that light Plane travel, that's what I'm saying, like train travel would be so much more comfortable. Right. Where would he be going? Oh, that makes her film better. Great. Deuces. Right away. Okay, you know what? They heard that. <laughs> 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 
that that's gonna work to open that thing. <laughs> he broke his glasses. She's pretty. And she is his match. She says, should, should she climb up? Ooh. I think she does. Okay, and then now we just have this little transition. But anyway, it was just, I have been to Hawaii like eight times at least. It's a sin that I don't remember how many. But it's so uncomfortable, right? A bed would be a nice way to travel there. <laughs> oh, look at the way she gets to be doing that to his ear. People, I'm about to pass out. I, I, you might have to just catch me back in a minute here. I never get through this yet. Look at his hand. Please do her. Please. <laughs> It's, it's correct. Um, <laughs> immediately. Uh, Is it yours? Yes, he's been looking all over for it. <clears throat> what else does he see? The that little razor? Why does she have that? Huh? Because she has an extra pair of pajamas for him too. <clears throat> um, I was barely breathing. What does she tell him? <laughs> yes. 
does she look even more towards Gap? Like, this is so, um, that was very To Catch a Thief at the very end. What do I do with him in the morning? Eve. Oh, yeah, she said her name was Eve Kendall, huh? Police. Having anything to do with this little sleeping car versus where she is? Mm. Police. So, Carrie really... Look, 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 people. Again, okay, look, this scene... There they are in the train station. I love that picture. Somehow I cut it out and taped it together. Thornycroft. <laughs> Do they show her from behind again? Where do you have bowling balls? Oh, she said it. Okay, Kaplan. And doesn't he have a chain on his neck? I feel like we're going to see that. to have your underwear correct at all times because if you ever are needing to be helped out you do not want to be looking crazy like that down to your drawers oh so he's already in the restroom Oh, that little brush thing was part of this little kit that she had. They're at opposite ends of the spectrum, full because why do you also have, like, this switchblade to do yourself, dude? You don't have, neither one of you have, like, a Gillette razor. I'm like, why are they showing all of these? Oh, because that's who she's talking to. So did they get into those two phone booths like that to call each other? Okay, that's totally too completely obvious. You know what's messed up is how she is completely involved in this too. I'm like, girl, you were just with Carrie. How on earth could you go through with getting ready to hand him this message? I, was, I feel a way about this. I feel like it's this is more what my beef with her is. And she's beautiful. Do 
she sees him. He came out. Look at him. He's being so affectionate to her. It's not nothing to him, bitch. That's what I'm saying. How? I don't, don't give me those eyes after he's needing to go to the bus counter to be let off right here. What the F is this? Gotta drive an hour and a half out and he going this is where he is. What for? Carrie, don't get off of this bus. Hell no. Don't let somebody give you an address like this. Hell no. I'd be like, you know what? Oh, effing well. This fool lets his whereabouts be known everywhere. I'm going to have to find him in the next hotel. Where in the United States can you look in 360 degrees and see this much of nothing anymore? There are places, right? But... What, this is in Indianapolis? <sighs> Carrie, your spidey senses need to be kicking in now. But what could he do, too? I mean, he is stuck out here now. When was he going to get a ride, um out of here. It was supposed to be with Kaplan. Kaplan was going to be there at 3... Th she said to wait on the side of the road. And at 3.30 he's going to be there. So he was planning to get into Kaplan's car and hitch a ride with him to wherever he's traveling to next. Kaplan. Carrie, what time is it? Is it 3.30 right now? I mean, people are making time going past you. Ain't nobody coming for you. Right, this car right here is picking up speed. They are not getting ready to come to a complete stop at this bus stop for you. Oh. <laughs> That's creepy as F too. Where are they coming from? This would make you think, okay, here's Mr. Kaplan. Okay, this has got to be Kaplan, though, right? 
except no. You know people in little small towns like this are chatty as hell. You know this man would have already like started walking over to start talking to Carrie. Okay, this is creepy as f. Oh, what, what is going on? Is that somebody's mailbox behind this dude? It looks like a mailbox behind him, right? That, it looks, is that not a mailbox? <clears throat> or a little road sign, a little road marker, mile marker, whatever. Oh, he's not nosy. Oh, now he wants to talk. <laughs> Can't say it is, because it ain't. Carrie, get on the bus, baby. Get on the bus. <laughs> Where there ain't no you need to get on the bus, okay? Carrie. This bitch rode him out here. On purpose. Is this how they're gonna try and get him next? This is how they are trying to get him next. That happened, Carrie. That just happened. Yeah, people don't care. <laughs> Even back in this day, people ain't stopping for you. They ain't getting involved. People are minding their business. <laughs> he clearly needed some kind of help. That person is minding their business. The athleticism, look at him. Yes, Carrie, this is Tom Cruise. Where do you think he gets it from? Carrie is in his mid 50s and he is every single thing still. Did they already release their little poison gas? Oh, he's getting a little. He thinks he has the upper hand right now. Carrie, no! It is an actual crop duster, too. <sighs> they outfitted that shit with a gun, though, too, huh? Is this one of those two fools that was trying to get him in the hotel? Is also a pilot. Let's check and see if we see both of them later on. Carrie, 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 you now know you have got to get into the road. I know, but people are minding their business. 
You're gonna have to make this person stop, huh? Oh my, no. Uh, stop, fool. explosion before the contact was made, but it... What, your take? What y'all carrying? Okay, carry red. Oh, so, yeah, um, it does not, yeah, no, <laughs> it was like, whoever is in that plane is no longer with us, but we just need to notice if we see both of those two kidnappers later on. Carrie, you took the one with the refrigerator. The other people don't care. Goodness, film history, huh? Okay, well, yeah, I mean, they have got their property back. Okay, so now where is he? Oh, that's where this chick said she was checking into. Oh, now he ain't looking for Captain. This bitch, huh? Because she gave him ex the bus stop mile marker sign to be standing at. And everything... Once again, they just did not successfully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hello. Ah! Fool, how dare you come to the counter like that? Mm -hmm. uh, Carrie, you know. Carrie. Mm -hmm. Ain't she staying here too? What about her? Kendall. Eve Kendall. Oh, there she is right there. Kavrona. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just going to notice what floor. <clears throat> this is going to be twice now that it is entirely too easy to get into somebody's room or the room number she's in room You came to the counter already looking at Carrie crazy because he had dust on his suit and you just gave him this bitch's room number. That's exactly what she gets for him to be knocking on the door. You're gonna give her the shock of her life, huh? Are you listening before you know? Well, he don't ring the buzzer. Does he? Oh, she answered it right away. Well, there is no peephole. Yeah, she looks a little excited. Yeah, bitch. Oh, you know what? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm glad he ain't putting his arms around her. Oh, two. Is it both of those fools? Oh. With all the really detailed mile marker notes that you took. Yeah. Involved and explicit. Yes.
at 7.10 this morning, bitch. I ain't taking it easy on her. You, huh? Bitch. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I love that cherry blossom drawing on the out of my sight, sweetheart, yeah. I love this little trick that he's going to do to get what he needs to get to be continuing to stay on her trail. What's he noticing? Oh, he's listening. Industrial designing business. Yeah, please. It does she have a gun? Oh, yeah, he meant that. She's on go away. Oh, nineteen fifty nine. Damn. Carrie. Stockyards. What is she? People, do you say that? And if you're calling for the valet, do you say valet? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, no, not lucky, naughty. Ah. Uh? <clears throat> so stop trying. Because I was like, how do they separate? What was this dinner thing all about? She's just going to, she's going to collect his trousers. And then she's going to dip right out. Oh, is she getting her coat? What the 
the heck is this that she just grabbed? And that's Carrie's little picture. Here's our music, yeah. Look at this. It works. I feel like I've done this. Being a detective. <laughs> twelve, twelve. Ew. Well, well, don't say 500 unless, yeah, somebody says it. <clears throat> yeah, seeing this man caressing her neck like that, now it's all understood, huh? Oh, he's in his feelings. Just about that, too, huh? But he recognizes it's that full, huh? He's, he knows that's Townsend. But his name isn't Townsend. Tell me, yeah. The Village Bicycle. <laughs> what is that from? <laughs> They're so weird. They say that. Carrie, um, <clears throat> no matter what's going on, you're getting her into some danger. <laughs> Actor studio. And now... the studio. <laughs> you guys watch that? The interviews with people from the actor's studio. There's a little YouTube channel of it. They had Jennifer Lopez on. I was watching that one. I love Jennifer Lopez movies. Yeah, you don't know feelings to hurt, bitch. Oh yeah, you better sit back down. Don't be making no scene up in here. Fool! What are you looking any type of a way for? Oh, there's the one dude.
Mason needs to quit acting like he feels a way about anything that Carrie is being a blabbermouth about. When this bitch sent the note talking about what did she do with him in the morning when she was done. What, what was he going to be doing in the sleeping car with her overnight? Okay, so there's Landau. Is the other dude there too? Or was he flying the plane? Oh, it's okay. Uh, Carrie said he's gonna call the police. And uh, he's gonna do it by acting a fool right now. Okay, so he's losing them, but he kind of doesn't even care about that right now, huh? He just, he would like to see them leave, oh, except those other two, huh? He ain't going. Is it 800? Ah! <laughs> yeah, that one dude's not there. Um... Ah! <laughs> This lady is somebody. Spirit. Didn't he mean eight dollars? <clears throat> That's more than it's worth. Huh? Oh, these fools just are gonna come up and rough him up? <laughs> Carrie can handle himself. <laughs> trying uh, that's what's up um, oh y'all didn't involve now and this fool was sick i forgot that they showed that old man oh now they are kind of keeping an eye closer on shit right where is he gonna ask to be taken someplace special. Oh, they don't. Yeah, that's the only reason they grabbed him. Killer. Oh, he's still on the front page.
Roger. change where they're taking him to because that old man the color I like this I like the cinematography right now well he'd be like why did I called for you. Oh. oh, I like this part, the music like that. Oh, Northwest. <laughs> Never noticed that before. Oh, there's Northwest again. Yeah, he poor baby he has. He's calling him by his name. Well, who are you? Carrie, don't be letting nobody take you places. Oh, here did not pitch me. They're all the same alphabet. Oh, and now it was. There's Northwest again. <laughs> I've never noticed this. Again. I've seen it. again hmm? mm. yeah Oh, he's telling them? He has dandruff. So they had Northwest in the shot twice in the background. Good gosh, that's like eight times that Hitchcock slapped Northwest on various little things that were clearly in our view. Yeah. Target, yeah. And they've lost two already. Uh-huh. 
Um, no. He's, yeah. He's not trying to hear that. Am I blushing? I feel like I'm blushing. <laughs> Now he loves her. Cause he already did. Uh, when I was about seven, we went here. <gasps> well, he's not looking in your direction. You could say Washington or Lincoln. <laughs> oh, well, he cannot help that. Um, yes, please. <laughs> looking like, um, Destination Tokyo, looking through your little periscope. What? Nearly 20 years later, my man? Um, yes. Are you irresistible? Yes, please. Okay, so there's a little trivia about what happens here in this little cafeteria. We're going to see a little boy do this <laughs> before he needs to. <laughs> and I don't know, I think these are like real people in here, so they didn't redo the scene. <laughs> I think it's this little boy right here. Why do I have all of this trivia about this movie? Because they play the heck out of it all the time everywhere and they get into the nitty gritty details like this telling you in their little opening introductions they gotta tell you things to look for. <clears throat> he been wearing this suit, huh? How long has this been going on? How many days? And he's across the country. He, it's under the guise that he called them here. That's why they're here. Did I misunderstand you about her? Kaplan. That's weird how the last movie we just watched, those women were talking about comparing these two. And there is no comparison. Where is she? Why did they just show that? Like we just, I didn't see her. He observes. Oh, he's reading. Reading the room. Uh oh. Uh. 
Okay, look, somebody's. Is <laughs> it this little boy? Watch the boy. Look at Oh, they got a prime parking spot, huh? You could just park in that spot and chill. You buy knockalars and just look at the um, Mount Rushmore. Are they trying to make it seem like Carrie's no longer with us? Are they going to be able to save him or he's already past help? <clears throat> oh, so she's on the run, and he's in the back of an ambulance, and they did all of that just so that they could have this little meeting right here. Man, right here. <laughs> the drivers. <laughs> okay, so she set this up. Can you guys get a little closer to each other? Because the old man is chilling right there. Yeah, you did, bitch. Of course, I was hurt. Oh. oh, she's just been a hoe since she was, yeah. Well, she didn't have anything to do that weekend, so she decided to fall in love. Oh, yeah. So she fell in love with that one. Doesn't he say, oh, it's been that type of life for you? It was ideal. Life been like that, is that he says? I can't help believe I got that exactly right. Because she's a hoe, Carrie. Yeah, oh. He's been married twice. <laughs> Oh, uh, because the old man is chilling right there. <laughs> he just, I don't think that he's been hearing them.
Her Carrie's hair is darker right here. <clears throat> but now it's not. Okay, well, you've already been saying how valuable she is. Oh, he, so he did lie to him. Yeah, old man. Yeah. Without using little hoes. Somebody knocks him out, huh? They sucker punched him just now. Seriously. Why is this scene necessary? Where are his clothes? Why do they have him like, there's the chain on it. You know, <laughs> I'm about to pull out these headphones. necessary right now. Where does he get to go now? Look, I mean, do you see what we just had to deal with? I'm passed out. I'm over here. I still cannot get back up. This lady is going to um, have the same effect, and he's going to be fully dressed and just in this. Oh, okay, Carrie, how do you get out? through the window. <clears throat> I told you my favorite scene of this movie, my favorite line, favorite scene. We're getting ready to have it. Oh yeah, Carrie, it's locked. How does he get out of this? Does it just open? He's good for walking on a ledge, huh? Mr. Lucky. He just serves this woman this. You and I got all of a lot more and she is about to pass out too. Look at her. Look at her. Um, girl. It's Carrie Graham. That is absolutely correct and real. Who is this? This is him. Where did he get a car from? <laughs> this is a taxi. 
Okay, it's a taxi. Okay, I was very much noticing the shirt, like how long his shirt was, and then, but it's kind of like for the, his pants, it's just all well put together, and this is what he is wearing in my poster. I, my poster is not color, I'll show you guys, I will, <clears throat> I'll have already shown it in the video. It's going to be that same maid that was at the house. Um, she wasn't lying and talking shit at the house, except that she was. It was his wife. Is, are we going to see his wife here, too? And, okay, so it's Landau. We saw that other dude at the art auction. And so the other one was flying the plane, because we have not seen him again. They have their own little runway on this property. This music is really good. Um, uh, he. It's too freaking now. Just to see, like, his eye from the side people is too much. <sighs> Archie Lee Chai is just an Englishman. Just a humble beginnings. You know what I mean? Like, nothing is altered on him. Except I think slightly, maybe he had a little bit of a nose job. Notice that, people. Go to it. Um, you you have to be. I think I'm going to do the Cary Grant completion channel again. Um, but you have to have seen, like, his earliest films. And then there's one where his nose looks a little different. It looked a little bit more Greek to me before slightly an adjustment happened on his nose but other than that it's god given do you know what i'm saying like i didn't finish my thought That shot that they just did of him is that, right? His profile. <laughs> oh, are y'all ain't saying goodbye? Was plan that he wasn't going. <clears throat> what is Carrie trying to do? He's trying to kidnap her out of the room and she doesn't really go with them. <laughs> Carrie, you have more of these? You have enough?
why do we want to call it that? Harry, why do you care? Why wouldn't you just be seeing that they're occupied and go get Eve? Digging in her luggage. He gives me Oscar. Like you guys know this. Um, uh, your gun. get her now. I mean, you're here for her. You should have been working your way over to her. Did he do movies with um, Hitchcock other than this? Why were those bitches talking about Cary Grant and James Mason in Rope? I cannot believe that the last movie we have on the channel, they were comparing these two. And then we've had them side by side. To, there is no comparison. Yes, Cary, go get her. Just get inside. Go in, go in. Darn it. He has a little teeny tiny pencil like this. Look at his little teeny tiny pencil. <laughs> My poor for this. What else are you saying? I'm in your room. <laughs> He's just perfect for a profile scene where you just have this perfect music and you just need to show somebody just thinking about things right he's just he's made for he's made for it oh well he's been her man and then they just let her know what was up with him. So that, yeah, like she didn't just creep onto the scene because she's an undercover agent. Like she was already with him. This fool comes over to pick it right up. Oh, okay. <laughs> he will notice it. Thank 
Think, girl. Think, think, think. Oh, she forgot her my ear earrings. You can't see mine. Huh? <laughs> What car? The taxi isn't still there. I get angry, and um, microphone is like what's keeping the cold war going. Oh. Okay, well, I don't know that that was necessary to say. I guess I should be more <laughs> on this side of the camera. Does she have earrings on? Carrie, she's leaving home. What did they arrange? He just said to her that... They're going to put you out of the plane. The thing is filled with microfiche. Eve, come on, and she's leaving. This bitch right here. Does she... Is the little fake gun sitting around? Is that... Is she's... Where of her surroundings... Way to play it cool, you know what I mean? Are she just gonna walk out of the room real nonchalant? Does she come back in like this? Oh, yes. Oh, she remembers him, huh? Who is her husband? We have not met him. What's her excuse? Oh, she didn't get it, her earrings. The knife throwing chum is that lady's husband. This is the car. Carrie really saw a car sitting there. Why is it a pumpkin? Oh, they probably have real guns. Y'all could have tried to ram that thing open. Now, hold on. Are we going to see that dude from the beginning? Is he one of the two that's chasing them right now? Or is it the housekeeper's husband, the knife-throwing man? Oh. <sighs> 
So this is not really Mount Rushmore. Or it is, or it isn't, or it kind of is, kind of isn't. It's just like the Statue of Liberty prop that he has in Salvatore, right? I feel like when it was at Mount Rushmore, because that little cafeteria is really there. This shit is not really it, right? Like, they are not up on... What's the st what is the statistic about this little stat, the little trivia? Yeah, no, it's not. That dude was fine to play. Yeah, these are just sets that Hitchcock has built. He's so strong the way he's going to hold her head. Yeah, like, this is set work. Of course, right? Like, we don't, I don't need to keep on pointing that out. Like, oh, that's not really Mount Rushmore. <laughs> did this fool have going on his body this little cross body strapped up situation oh she took off those heels good idea why does everybody have to keep moving just like you guys are on different sides of this humongous monument and you could just like stay still and try and climb back up And keep climbing down this thing. Okay, well, except for like they've got a straight little path over to you. Does anybody have a gun? Because if not, just climb back up. Let the microfiche thing go too. Y'all ain't gotta be one arm in it because you got this. It just crack it open, throw it down off of Mount Rushmore, and then that's not a problem anymore, right? What the F is in the microfiche? Something that this girl's been having to risk her life for. That was the main thing that they was trying to get. Oh. He was really needing to get that microfilm fish back home. Carrie can do this. The one arm holding thing. Yep, right there. He's got you, girl. He ain't gonna drop you. As long as... But look, I mean, even with this, mm -hmm. 
Does he pull her up? Do we see him pull her up? Using real bullets. Where is that fool? Did, did he have handcuffs on? No, yeah, he has her. I love the perfect, no out credits, perfect, crucial classics, like and subscribe, check us out on the weekends, we'll see you guys soon, have a great week, we'll see you guys soon, bye bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me, I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey, hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now, <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe, turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.